Hello everyone and now welcome to game 3 in this series between Tara and Hyung. Game 3 here on Glacial Waste, I believe. Um, pretty difficult to try and remember all of these map names, especially when sometimes they name them wrong. Alright, so let's go ahead and take a look at the spawning locations. It is going to be Hyung spawning here as the blue Zerg at the 5 o'clock position. Meanwhile, we have Hyung sp um, spawning as the red Protoss. All right, so they decided to change their colors on me. So let's go ahead and fix this. Yes, this is a custom program. Let's... And Tara is Protoss. I wouldn't want anyone to get confused. All right, so... All right, so there we go. First of all, map information this is good old 4g um, map information there is a natural expansion here there is a destructible rock tower that you can use as a little bit of additional base defense trapping units on one side of the wall versus another we'll see where these probes are going to be going and what where this probe will be going and what it will be doing next heading up the ramp here and now spotting hyung it looks as though we could be going into either a pool hatch or a hatch pool here and probe pretty much just waiting to see when exactly that spawning pool will be placed down. Spawning pool has been placed down now. Nope, is now being placed down. And that's exactly what Tara wanted to do. He pulled back with the probe and then forced, um, uh, forced Hyung to place down that one particular... Yeah, forced Hyung to place down that spawning pool and now knows that he can do a little bit of a drone dance here. Pylon now coming as well. That will come in as a big block. And I like this pylon block by Tara. The reason why? Zerg players do not want to take this as a third base. It is very difficult for them to take this as a third base. And any other base is rather difficult for them to take as well. You can see that the probe, uh, the pylon is already down. You can see a, a forge is already placed down as well. As the probe, now going to be placing down a pylon right here. So we could see a photon cannon here in just a moment. And a photon cannon would actually be a little bit of a cute play. And so far, we still don't see any other hatchery now hyung at this point can decide to do one of two things he can either try to take down this pylon throw up a hatchery and then go into the meta game or hyung can try to just go you know what i don't have this early hatchery i'm not going to set up even my natural expansion by the four minute mark might as well just throw everything at the front door and see if i can catch my opponent who is going for a crazy Forge fast expansion now, and that it looks like is what's going to be happening. Hyung now coming in with Zerglings. Four Zerglings. More Zerglings could be coming as well. Zerglings now chasing after probes on Blight or on Creep. Will be able to clear that, and now the Zerglings able to make their way inside. Three Zerglings have snuck their way in already. Hatchery now being placed down as we will see, we will begin to see what can happen here. Probes now trying to dance back against these Zerglings. Zerglings need to pull away. One Photon Cannon would be all it would need in order to make sure in order to protect all of these probes, but no Photon Cannon has been placed down as of yet. We still see a good number of Zerglings here. Photon Cannon now attempting to take down the Destructible Rocks. That means it is not going to attack the Zerglings as these Zerglings run by. Oh, no, does finally switch targets. Takes down one Zergling, not enough to take down two. And now with this many Zerglings inside the base, this could potentially cause some problems. Now an exposed pylon is going to be the problem here. And even if... The, oh, the Zerglings not engaging against those probes. Probes battling it out. It looks like the probes are going to try and come in for a surround, but the Zerglings do attack much more quickly, even though they have more hit points. And how many workers have been killed? 12 workers have been killed. It is now 12 to 23 with a Photon Cannon, and now perhaps more probes being trained off here at the Natural as well. All right, the Destructible Rock Tower looks like it will be falling in, in a, just a few seconds, but there's only one Photon Cannon here to try to protect that front door. Baneling is now coming off over here, and that is going to be bad news. As this probe now going to try to attack against this Baneling, this probe is just going to simply run away. This Photon Cannon will fall, and Tara loses a quick Game 3 after a bad uh, or after a bad decision choice, trying to go for a Forge ex Fast Expansion on the front door, not having two Photon Cannons, not having any real way of blocking this front door, allowing Zerglings to run inside. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed this rather short game. Stay tuned for game four.